హలో ట్రేడర్స్ హోప్ యూఆర్ ఆల్ డూయింగ్ గ్రేట్ అండ్ ఐ నో టుడే బాస్ అ రియలీ టఫ్ డే మార్కెట్ బాస్ ఆల్ ఓవర్ ద ప్లేసెస్ రైట్ ఐ సో మార్కెట్ వీ సో టుడే మార్నింగ్ మార్కెట్ కైండ్ ఆఫ్ గ్యాప్ డౌన్ ఇట్ వెంట్ అప్ దెన్ ఇట్ కేమ్ డౌన్ ఇట్ వాస్ ఆల్ ఓవర్ ద ప్లేసెస్ ఇట్ వాస్ రియలీ టఫ్ సో వాట్ వీ డిట్ వెన్ ద మార్కెట్స్ కేమ్ డౌన్ వీ ట్రై టు వెన్ ఇట్ హిట్ సెవెంటీన్ థౌసండ్ టూ హండ్రెడ్ we try to manage uh, the position because our put off, put side was uh, giving losses then we made adjustment then market uh, reversed and it went all the way at around 17400 when it reached 17400 we tried uh, we again try to manage our position it started coming in the last uh, 10 or 15 minutes and the thing which happened in the last 10 or 15 minutes a drop of more than i think <coughs> from uh, 382 7 280 around 100 points drop in just 15 or 20 minutes that uh, we couldn't do anything because uh, last minute we don't know what is going to happen right and uh, nifty if you see on a uh, open to close basis it had a, it swinged at around 400 to 500 points and bank nifty was much worse uh it opened at 37700 levels it went all the way to 38200 then came down more than 800 to <coughs> 900 points swing in bank nifty so this is really very hard these kind of markets are really very hard to trade uh, but <laughs> there is no way we have to live with this that is because and uh, the major contributor to this volatility in fact last two days alone india vix has gone up by more than 10% right the major contributor to, to this volatility is uh, people are saying that because of china taiwan issue now china is ready to start war with uh, china uh, which we really don't know what is happening before it was russia ukraine issue now it is china taiwan issue and uh, i don't think uh, even though things are happening uh, i don't think it's going to escalate or uh, there might be a fear factor uh, among investors people may book profit or people may take out money from the stock market for temporary basis but there is not going to be a full scale war like what uh, russia or ukraine uh, did what russia did to ukraine right so that is my belief let's see how things span out i we really don't know but that's what people say and maybe next to be uh, around this weekend also we have a very important uh, event which is going to be the rbi event so hopefully i think uh, this week uh, around this expiry market may expire between 17000 to 17500 so that's what i'm expecting and us futures are also in uh, flat i think when we closed around uh, us futures dow jones was more than down by 170 points snp nasdaq everything was down snp vix uh, has risen slightly but what gives confidence is that 17200 uh, 17300 is having the highest uh, uh like is having the highest open interest which means people have written more 17300 put option today right now that is where we have, uh, we also have some options 17200 options i have written aggressively 17400 i have written then market went there i made some adjustment <coughs> now it is coming towards 17200 so this is how the markets uh, are behaving and uh, one more thing i will show the strategy which i shared yesterday for which the link is on the description below right now this is the strategy i think yeah this is the strategy we did two strategy today that is uh, one uh, straddle and strangle both 10 10 lots and both the strategies are in a profit of around this uh, strangle is in a profit of 6525 and uh, straddle is in a profit of around 4725 we didn't get a chance to do some adjustment we were thinking to do some adjustment when the market went to 17200 but unfortunately uh, but fortunately it reversed and everything changed right so one more thing you have to consider when i'm talking about these kind of strategy is that these are all uh, what to say uh, paper trade right paper trade or virtual trade this trade may work fine because we don't have any emotional or any this issues 
but when it comes to real trade we try to react to uh, mtm losses or mtm profit whenever we see our mtm losses or whenever we see our mtm profits we react we book early when we see profits and we delay our uh, delay when we see some of the losses right so that is what happens and uh, so far so good and uh, today as i told you markets were really really volatile and the reason was mainly because of china and uh, taiwan issues i am not sure whether this fii data has come yet and uh, if it is out i am sure they would have at least bought for uh, maybe 1000 or 1500 crores i don't know what this buggers are up to these people buy for showing us uh, retailers some uh, this thing what to say some uh, they will just uh, b- create curiosity and they will just make us believe that things are in the right path and once we start buying they will uh, start selling and bring the market downside right so i have been telling for many uh, many days that it is fii's it is institutions who are deciding what the market is going to or where the market is going to go people say retailers have uh, power that and this nothing as such okay even uh, if i w- have to tell you 90% of the people who entered after corona 2020 have already exited the market so they have lost the money and they have exited the market also right this place is very very uh, tough place to make easy money so all these uh, years of experience i am saying this is very very tough last two days of earning is gone today last uh, three days sorry friday monday and today is tuesday so friday and monday whatever i have earned we have lost it today because of this kind of volatility nifty moving 400 to 600 points and bank nifty moving 600 to 800 points that is the amount of volatility we are experiencing today and uh, nothing much uh, i think uh, this is it Uh, let's hope for the best as of now sgx nifty is almost down by around 10 or 20 points whatsoever 17300 is having a stiff resistance and uh, sorry support uh, sorry 17300 had the highest open interest today and 17200 is having the highest open interest among put option so we can believe 17200 can sustain and if you see i'll show you the bank nifty also Uh, which i forgot to show you bank nifty is also having high open interest at around i think uh, let me check yeah yeah this is the bank nifty thing and it is having the highest uh, open interest among put option is 38000 uh, 38000 put option has been written aggressively today 38000 call option is having the highest open interest and this thing will change day to day and i think there is a new future in uh, what is that uh, uh, sensible that you can track uh, every 10 minutes or 15 minutes i think yeah 10 minutes or 15 minutes what has happened yeah around half an hour what has happened how the this thing has changed so it is here yeah you can change everything whatever you want right so hour by hour what has happened everything can be tracked here if you see here around 1245 there was high put writing at 38000 and at around 13 still there was okay let's see like this at around uh, let's say at around 215 there was around uh, 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 this 38000 put option had around 1.5 million puts then at around 245 uh, that has increased to 2.2 million and at around uh, 315 that has increased to uh, that has decreased to 2.1 million and you can see 38000 call option has reduced it was at around uh, 38000 call option had 1.6 million uh contracts at around uh, 145 i think yeah 145 and at around 3 o'clock that has reduced to maybe 290k 
so people have squared off call option and uh, they have written aggressive puts so we really like uh, this is one of the new future features they have added in uh, sensible so in case if you want to subscribe sensible uh, there's a link on the description below you can uh, join you will get four months free uh, exclusive for our subscribers right so i i think i have summarized all the things uh, thank you for watching see you tomorrow take care bye